casino. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every trade car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. High time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tell us you're right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge, we, we're gonna need the help. Place? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Well, it would be weird if they did mention treasure in the interview. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be a terrible idea. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I'd had, I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday and invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé chow egg is in here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh, 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 fighters keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access code. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore cut card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Grayson, do you have an opinion on this? I mean, I would ideally not like to get fired, and I don't like Rouge that much anyway. Dealing is for squares. I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation, it's crumbling. Alright, alright, I'm in, I'll help. First day on the job, and you're already gonna get fired. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Grayson are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. You're really not gonna give me a choice in the matter. This is my place of work. Heh, <laughs> that's a ticket. Happy to help have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Well, we brought out the whiteboard and everything. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Hmm. Well, generally you'd want to distract the guard. Attacking would leave too much evidence behind. Bribing not only would lower the score, and also it would, like, potentially not work and just get you caught anyway. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Grayson, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Hmm. Tails is smart, but I'm not sure if he knows how to lie. 
I feel like Rouge is probably a natural at this kind of thing. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charm? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a Chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Fair enough. I didn't think we would need flight in this situation. I also was not aware that they were hiring a literal baby as a security guard. That, uh, useful to know. I, I just figured on the drawing that everyone was like a chibi-like character anyway, so maybe the guard was supposed to be as well. So wait, if the logic is that the flight could be useful, then what, why are we not just using Tails then? Like, if Rouge is a distraction, then Tails could be the flight. Well, I guess by that logic, there's really no reason, like, just going off the idea that uh, the guard would be easy to distract because it's a chow, and nothing matters besides how useful someone would be in the actual robbery, by that logic, I think Blaze should do it. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't fall there. Right. Her post is so stoic, I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Then the claw machine is stuck, push a bunch of poker chips on the floor, ask the chow about their partner and kids. Hmm, well, the last one be too obvious as a distraction. It's like, hey, stranger, how about you tell me your life story? I feel like the second one could also be too obvious as a distraction, like, yeah, it would definitely distract them, but at least with the first one, you have a good sort of excuse. What's the claw machine in the casino? Yeah, that's a good question. Why is there a claw machine here? <laughs> This'll work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. But the guard distracted. Bruges, how will you get the access car? Well, Rouge is a natural you know, pickpocket, literally stole from the conductor earlier, so... I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can continue- we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Grayson, what's her plan? need to get Blaze out of there. Wait, is Blaze coming too? Are we not just having Blaze distract the guard and continuing the heist without her, and then we come back, and then Blaze stops the distraction and we move on? Well, uh... Hmm. You know, I, this is not what I would pick, but I would love to see what happens. <laughs> then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You'd need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. Said we'll try something else. Okay, actually picking a serious option now. Probably the first one. Absolutely vile. I could think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll all make it to the in the elevator. Inside we Celebratory Dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five each of them. The end of those arms are claws, I'm not touching them. 
My high fives aren't given away willy nilly, they are to be cherished. I don't think my hands could survive a high five from them, let's rethink this. They all humored my suggestion, how oddly polite of them. Let's see, if it's a uh, beetle machine, then Tails can probably make short work of them. I should be able to disengage them, I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely into our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. Wait, that... W <laughs> I, I thought that was like trying to say that that wouldn't work. And that was just gonna take me back to the thing and like tie them in a knot would be the actual right answer. I'm ready, let us begin. Alright, let's see what's up with that elevator. I knew the plan would go out without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning for her hand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough, chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Wag. Hehe. <laughs> what if it's not actually the code? Lots of safes in the area. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all the all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. They're, that's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we've got to find the safe with the Faberge Chow Egg inside. Well, perhaps it's this big one in the middle. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprint and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. It's here! <laughs> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of it. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge spit it out, what are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell a tale. You can open the egg? Yeah, I mean, it has a kind of thing around the middle. You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? An excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Uh, throw and lock it in the safe? Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine, it's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open? What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to... You won't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh... Twist the egg again? Great idea. That might extend our time. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. I... <laughs> is, it a... is it possible it's just an egg timer? Flip the egg upside down. Grayson, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it. Nothing, happy? Yes. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Chaos control the egg away. Yeah, let's do that with the chaos emeralds that we definitely have. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter, we need a Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it.
Let Rouge kiss the egg. Since they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. Hmm, what a fruit. Tell the egg to stop. Stop. I only just realized that the ticking is time to the music. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Tails, cool it down with this tail. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking, however refreshing the breeze may be. Okay, new plan. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want it to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Grayson. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Grayson, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did something, say something interesting when we pissed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the during events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. If it were a bomb, the, the arms would have taken it by now. Those robotic arms that... Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as Fabric Day Chow Egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. This is gonna be an egg timer, isn't it? Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow and not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Yeah, hey, look at what's inside. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gem. It's perfect. It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! You drooling over a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow Egg's secret. I wonder if the, why the egg wasn't a bomb. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Oh, you wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty, beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coast with being okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Dealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? He's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance, as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. But is she more powerful than Tails, though? Well, we'll get you... Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. 
You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much discussion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Are, are we not going to, like, interrogate them? Are we just assuming they're not part of the game? <laughs> Alright. Will do. Come on, Grayson. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Okay, now we get to, uh... Examine things, I guess. Dr. Eggman built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Ready for some hold'em? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. Grayson, we simply don't have time for this. We must defend Sonic. Probably a good point. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, please? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about that Fabergé Chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scooped around and discovered the egg was, th was here. After that, I played the slot machine. The train did a sudden jolt, which is odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present and she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing these slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash shop voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credit. That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darling? Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi for again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprint. I walked back through the library and saloon car, so I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We do appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You, could, you take care now. Likewise, darling. I take order. You guys interested in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. You could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Thanks again for your help earlier. Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Night's Pinball, hell yeah. Twinkle Park. Other hand. The abilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother, smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Trash can! Tails, we must search the trash bin! Eh, it's empty. Oh? Oh, did I hear it? Oh? I've always believed in the thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me when that when he met my mother, he would drive her to work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed up to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married, without caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? 
Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Grayson? Grayson, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Hmm. What in the world? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Every poker chick I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. Why, though? What is this world building here? Ah, yes, the person who destroys the world on a regular basis. Ah, yeah, we're fine with just using chips that have his face on it. What the fuck? That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Hmm, can I give the slot machine a try? Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. While well, I lost, do I try again? Nah. Eh. I respect your restraint. I wanted to give it one spin. Well, uh, don't see anything else to do here, so I suppose I'll move on. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. <laughs> 